start, let's just review how a library feature works in SolidWorks. Library features are specially saved portions of a part file, which itself is a special type of part file. And these files are saved in locations that are set up in the design library. My design library, for example, has file locations, which can be seen through the tool tips that appear as I hover over the folders. And my file locations are pointing to several places on my hard drive. Let's use one of the standard design library features in the inch folder and the slots folder. And we'll use the straight slot and examine how library features work. Library features are dragged and dropped from the design library onto a face of your model. Once you have dropped the item onto the face of your model, you may have an option to choose size, which is done by configurations of the library feature part file. In my case, I'll choose 125 by 6. By default, drag and drop of this feature is a copy of the feature from the original LFP file into your part file, much like doing a copy and paste in standard SOLIDWORKS functionality. However, unlike standard copy and paste, when you drag and drop a library feature, you have the ability to transfer locational constraints. In my case here, SOLIDWORKS is giving me indication that there is a locating edge in the original part which popped up in this window and is waiting for me to choose a corresponding edge in my new part. I will do so by selecting the edge on the side here and then for the second edge, selecting the edge here. I then have a choice, if I wish, to change the value of the locating dimensions by changing the numbers as such. The size of the feature is based on the size of the feature in the LFP file. And if you have standard sizes as configurations in the LFP file, you should change the size by changing configurations to 125.25 or 9415 as we see here because these are the standard sizes that I want available at my company and you can see there are quite a few of them. I could, if I needed to, choose to override dimension values and type in numbers free form here. Of course I wouldn't then be defining things based on a standard configuration at that point. Also note, link to library part checkbox under the size for configuration or configuration size. This changes the behavior from a simple drag and drop, copy and paste type of operation to a link scenario, whereby my new part using features would have an external link to my LFP file straight slot in my folder here. Unless you have good reason to do the link, you typically let it be a drag and drop operation, a copy and paste. However, if you need for some reason to make sure that this part changes, if you change the straight slot size definition, 12506, then you can choose the link to library part. But do remember that that will create a situation where you have files linked. And again, unless you have some compelling reason to do so, to leave the link to library feature, library part off, and simply do the copy and paste style operation. 